Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Matthews, and today we'll be looking at fractions and the relationship between halves, fourths, and eighths. Today's learning goal is learning to name fractions and see equivalent or equal fractions for halves, fourths, and eighths. As you are working today, you will have an opportunity to practice your Portrait of a Graduate creative and critical thinking skills by thinking about solutions in a new or different way and working on being goal-directed and resilient by staying on task during our lesson time together today. Here are some optional materials you may want to have handy, but you do not need them to complete today's lesson. Today we are going to do a number talk from Sherry Parrish and Ann Dominic's book, Number Talks, Fractions, Decimals, and Percentages. Look at this rectangle. Can you see one half of the whole? Can you see one half in a different way? How can you prove your thinking? I'll give you a moment to think about these questions. You might have thought about how a rectangle is our whole, and it is split into two equal parts. So each part is one half of the whole rectangle. Let's look at another image. Can you see one half of this hole? Can you see one half in a different way? How can you prove your thinking? I'll give you a moment to think about these questions. You may have still had the last image in your head and used that to help you. We can still see one half on the left side of the rectangle, like this. You may have also seen one half on the right side of the rectangle. Since we can see that our rectangle is split in half vertically like this, we can see one half on the left and one half on the right of the center line. Let's look at another way you might have seen one half. You may have noticed that the rectangle is also split in half going across horizontally. So one half can be the top half, or it can be the bottom half. To recap, here are some of the ways that you might have seen one half of this rectangle. Look at this same image, but this time I'm wondering if you can see two fourths. Can you see two fourths of this hole? Can you see two fourths in a different way? How can you prove your thinking? I'll give you a moment to think about those questions. Just like before, the rectangle is our whole and is split into four equal parts called fourths. Each part is one fourth of the rectangle. So we can show two fourths in many different ways. One way you might have seen two fourths is on the left side like this. We know two one fourth pieces makes two fourths or one fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths. If we can see two fourths on the left side, then we can also see two fourths on the right side, like this. If we can see two fourths on the left side and the right side, 
That also means that we can see two-fourths on the top and two-fourths on the bottom. Can you see two-fourths another way? How about this? Does this show two-fourths? It sure does. If we can show it this way with diagonal fourths, then we can show it this way too. What are you noticing about halves and fourths? Are you noticing that one half is equivalent to two fourths like this? Or like this? So what can we determine about half and two-fourths? Because they have the same whole, we can say that one half is equal to two-fourths. We can also say that one half and two-fourths are equivalent fractions because they are naming the same amount of the whole. Okay, let's look at one more image. Can you see one half of the whole? Can you see one half in a different way? How can you prove your thinking? I'll give you a moment to think about these questions. you might have thought about seeing one half this way. Here's your hole, and here's the line splitting the rectangle in half. So we have half here and half here. You could have also seen it this way. Here's your hole, and this line is splitting the rectangle in half. So we can have half here and half here. What's another way that we can name one half of these rectangles? You may have noticed that the whole is split into eight equal parts. So each part is one eighth of the whole. Eight one-eighth pieces makes up the whole. So how many one-eighth parts make up the half? You are correct. Four one-eighth parts make up the half. So if four one-eighth parts make up the half, then four eighths is equivalent to one half. Let's reflect on what we learned about today. What is something that you are learning about related to halves, fourths, and eighths? Take a moment to write down your thoughts or share them with someone. Today we used images to name fractions and also see equivalent fractions with halves, fourths, and eighths. Which emoji best represents where you are in your learning today? Thank you for watching this episode of Math Matters. I'm Ms. Matthews and I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting.